Hello fellow compounders. What is the best plan to retire early? There have been many books written about FIRE and the FIRE movement. FIRE means financial independence, retire early. In this video, I'll provide an overview of the key levers you can control to execute a FIRE plan. And I'll review the plan that I would use if I were reliving my 20s again. Welcome to the Always Be Compounding Club, where we share ideas on how to build, grow, and enjoy wealth. I'm your host, Dennis Chen. I'm a full-time investor and CFA charter holder. Welcome aboard. Let's get started. The objective of an early retirement plan or FIRE plan is to achieve a financial independence as early as possible to not have to work for money anymore. This means that you want to reach your financial freedom number in the least amount of time. There are four key variables you can play with to shorten the amount of time needed to achieve your financial freedom. These variables are number one, your income. This is key. If you don't have an income, you won't be able to have money to invest. Most of you will be earning a salary from a full-time job, or you might be entrepreneurs. Work on increasing your income, make yourself more valuable at your job, get a side hustle, and start a business. Number two, your living expenses. The lower the, your current expenses, the more you can allocate for investment. The lower your estimated living expenses at retirement, the less amount you'll need to be able to be financially independent. Makes sense, right? So be frugal, but don't be cheap. Number three, your savings rates. The more money you can save and invest, the faster you'll get to your financial freedom number. This is driven by your earnings and your expenses. And number four, your investment returns. Higher returns will get you to your financial freedom faster. A retirement fund growing at 7% will take longer to hit your financial freedom number than one that's growing at a 14% rate. By the way, make sure you're taking inflation into account in your calculations. For example, if you could retire with $100,000 a year today, make sure that if you're retiring in 20 years from now, that you account for inflation. This means that you would need $180,000 in 20 years to have the same purchasing power as $100,000 today. This is assuming an average inflation rate of 3%. To account for inflation, I prefer to keep things in today's dollars and adjust the return rates for inflation. This is called using real return rates. For example, if we know that the S&P 500 returns 10% on average, this is called the nominal return rate, when we adjust for the 3% inflation, the return would be 10% nominal rate minus the 3% inflation, which gives us a 7% real rate of return. Remember, every time I say real, it means adjusted for inflation. And when I say nominal, it means that it doesn't account for inflation. So getting back to the topic, investment plan to retire early. If you Google the term FIRE, financial independence, retire early, you would find that there are three major segments of FIRE practitioners. Number one, first segment is fat FIRE. These are those with traditional lifestyles who save more than an average worker, but don't want to reduce their current standard of living and would like to retire with their current standard of living or better. These people need to focus on increasing their earnings and more aggressive investments. Then number two, there's lean fire. These are the traditional fire guys. These practitioners have to keep stringent minimalist living to be able to save half of their earnings to be able to accomplish their goals. This means that they're running a far more restrictive lifestyle currently and during retirement. Many of the lean fire practitioners live on $25,000 or less per year. And three, there's the barista fire. These are the guys that are in between the fat fires and their lean fires. They quit their traditional nine to five jobs, but work part time and they try to minimize their expenses as much as possible, but without going extremely minimalist. So they're the in-betweeners, the barista fires. Here's my hypothetical example. If I was 22 years old today, I would do the fat fire plan. The retirement age in the United States, just to give some context, is 67 years old. So to me, retiring early means getting to financial independence in half that time, which means sometime in my 40s. So my goal is to retire in 20 years at the age of 42 with $5 million in today's dollars or around $9 million 
in nominal terms, assuming a 3% inflation rate. From now on, all of my numbers are going to be in today's dollars, so the return rates will be real returns. To achieve this, I would need to have an investment real rate of return of 12%, and I'll have to make do monthly investments or monthly savings of $5,000 a month. How realistic is this? Remember, things change. I'm making plans, but at 22 years old, I'm not married yet in this scenario. And once you get married, plans will have to be reviewed. But let's assume that my spouse will have similar income, so everything will still be still kind of work. And since we will be sharing expenses, we would have some more disposable income. So maybe things work out or we'll readjust the plans. So here's the question. Could I save $5,000 per month? If I was an engineer fresh out of school with a take home pay of, you know, that means after taxes of $6,250 a month, unless I lived with my parents, it would be unrealistic to save $5,000 a month just starting out. However, I should be able to live on $3,200 or $3,250 a month and be able to save $3,000 a month. So the question is how to make up for that $2,000 difference. This is where the side hustle comes in. Think about how to increase your income by $2,000 a month or $24,000 a year. I'm pretty sure that I will be able to figure out how to earn an extra $24,000 a year. The second variable, the rate of return on investment, needs to be around 12% real. And we know that the S&P 500 index has a historical rate of return, a real return of 7%. So there's a 5% gap there. This means that I wouldn't be able to be a passive investor like a lean fire uh, segment. I would need to be an enterprising investor. I need to make more than the market. At this point, I have several options. Option number one, I could rethink my expectations and reduce my expectation of living on 150,000 a year. This would in turn reduce my financial freedom number. Number two, I could increase the amount of time to retirement. With more time, compounding would help me and would reduce the amount of money I need to stash away every month or reduce the rate of return that I would need. And option number three, I could go for it and work on increasing my income and learn how to invest actively to achieve that 12% annual return over the next 20 years. I would go with option number three, learn how to invest to hit that 12% return as an active investor, which I think is doable. Buffett has done an average of 17% real return over the past 50 years or so. So I'll do less than Buffett and I should be okay. So my investment plan is, number one, allocate $5,000 a month to the portfolio. Of course, assuming that I do some side hustle, increase my income to be able to stash away $5,000 a month. Number two, I will invest in the S&P 500 index, BOO, or the total return market index, BTI, until I have $100,000 uh, available to invest. In the meantime, I will be preparing and making sure I learn how to be an active investor. Number three, prepare and learn how to be an active or enterprising investor. And I'll switch to being active once my investment account reaches the 100,000. And number four, I would invest in a concentrated portfolio using the basketball team approach, which I discussed in the video, where to invest $100,000 today for passive income, which you could find in this link. So there you have it. That's my take on how to achieve financial independence and retire early. If this video was useful, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps and supports the channel. Thanks for watching and remember to always be compounding. Take care.